You know, people keep saying, well, he doesn't have enough experience on national security and things like that. First of all, whoever the president is, he's going to have tons of advisors. It ain't like the president get to make every decision on his own. You have great advisors around you. Hey, I live in Arizona. I got great respect for Senator McCain. Uh, great respect. But I don't like the way the Republicans are taking this country. Every time I hear the word conservative, it makes me sick to my s stomach because they're really just fake Christians, as I call them. That's all they are. Uh, but I just, I'm going to vote Democratic no matter what. All right, one quick point before I let you go. You use the phrase fake Christians for conservatives. Now explain what you're talking about. Well, I think they, they, they want to be judge and jury. Like, I'm for gay marriage. It's none of my business if gay people want to get married. I'm pro-choice. And I think these Christians, first of all, they're supposed to be, they're not supposed to judge other people, but they're the most hypocritical judge of people we have in this country. And it bugs the hell out of me. And they act like they're Christians and they, they are not forgiven at all. So you, you're going to get a lot of feedback on this one, uh, Charles. They can't do anything to me. I don't work for them. Do you feel comfortable saying all that? I feel very comfortable saying pro, I'm pro-choice and I'm for gay marriage. Very you, comfortable. But you can't lump all these conservatives as being fake. A lot of them, obviously, most of them uh, are very, very sincere in their religious beliefs. Well, they should read the part of the Bible. They're not supposed to judge other people. They forget that one when it doesn't fit what they want to say. All right, we've got to leave it there, Charles. Uh, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you for having me.